Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Well, good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow university faculties. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for inviting me uh, for, the, <coughs> uh, for sharing uh, my view on interdisciplinary education and uh, Yonsei's case of uh, interdisciplinary education. Uh, let me start with uh, uh, Korea. Well, South Korea has been overwhelmingly successful in both education and information technology. Over the past century, Korea has transformed itself from an aid-receiving country into an overseas aid donor country, achieving a level of development that is the envy of neighboring countries. And Korea's education system is often credited for national success. At her inauguration ceremony in February 2013, uh, President Park promised a second miracle of Han River following in the footsteps of her father. One of the key words during Fred Park Gunnell's administration has been her idea of a creative economy, which requires an interdisciplinary approach to research, industry, and economy. As the basis for this creative economy, President Park has prioritized the importance of industry technology convergence for the expansion of growth potential and the creation of new jobs based on cutting edge science technology, information, and communication technology. The role of higher education institution becomes even more critical in the creative economy since universities are at the front line of knowledge creation and education. Cooperation and collaboration between academia and industry, institutions and cooperation, researchers and lawmakers are critical in this era of globalization and rapid technological advancement. Universities and our industry partner must respond to demand for new knowledge in our information age. And interdisciplinary education is one of the answers to this demand for new knowledge. Yonsei University was founded in 1885, 129 years ago, by Christian missionaries and is widely considered Korea's best private university as well as Korea's most globalized one. We have always held a leading role in Korean higher education we are one of the first universities in Korea, while Jejong Won, one of the Yonsei's prosecutors, was first Korea's modern medical school. More recently, we have been at the forefront of liberal art and residential education. True to its missionary origin, Yonsei University seeks to educate leaders who will contribute to humanity in the spirit of truth and freedom and servant leadership, and we encourage a strong spirit of community contribution. Yonsei is Korea's oldest and the largest private university, and upheld its rich tradition of excellence while positioning itself as Korea's most forward-looking and liberal institution of higher education. Throughout its history, Yonsei has been the pioneer of higher education in Korea by presenting new paradigms in education and research. Uh, according to the Times Higher Education Reputation Ranking, Yonsei is one of the top private universities worldwide as well as in Asia in quality education, cutting edge research, premier patient care and community service as world-class cl university. Since my inauguration 
as president in February 2012, I have emphasized the following four Cs as the key element for success in today's world. Communication, creativity, convergency, and cultural diversity. Communication involves not only language and the ability to listen and speak with others, but also the empathy and the strong personal qualities that enable a person to be a good communicator. In order to communicate well, a person needs to be able to truly understand and connect with others, even with those who hold very different background. Creativity is the ability to think in new and innovative ways, a skill that is critical in all fields today. Creativity drives inventions and positive change and permit us to grow in new direction. Without the idea, the world would be a dual and static place, a place without change or invention. The dynamic convergence of discipline, the striking growth in interdisciplinarity and integration is a notable trend in higher education and research today. Such convergence in academic field requires at the same time a back to basics emphasis on general education and traditional core discipline of literature, history, and philosophy. We need to remain true to the fundamentals of higher education while accepting and adapting to change. Convergence allows us to remain true to our original idea while also adapting to the fast paced change of the world around us. Finally, we live in the era of globalization in which cultural diversity in our society is now the norm. We need to recognize and acknowledge that we are different from each other and yet have the insight to see the similarities deep inside us. On the outside, we may seem to be different in appearance, culture, belief, and history, and yet inside, we all share the dream of a better world and a better, a better tomorrow. We need to embrace and reconcile diverse and seemingly incompatible characteristics. Based on the principle of the 4C, Yonsei University is leading change in Asia's higher education by responding dynamically to educational and market trend and serving as the vanguard in research education and industry tie. Interdisciplinary education is gaining momentum as a keyword because our complex information-rich society requires flexible thinking and an ability to adapt to new input that depends on a knowledge across discipline and an ability to process various different kinds of information. It brings together two or more distinct academic fields and works with research methodologies that draw upon perspectives and skills from several disciplines. The discourse on interdisciplinary ed studies goes back to Plato, Aristotle, Kant, Hegel. Plot advocated philosophy as a unified science and viewed the philosophers as someone capable of synthesizing knowledge. Similarly, other thinkers write, such as Descartes, Kant, Hegel, and Comte also shared vision of the unit of knowledge. Until mid 20th century, interdisciplinary education was considered a way of renew university and college. By the late 20th century, it was not just an experimental program or alternative to the traditional curriculum, but entered its core. Now, even the OECD calls for more interdisciplinarity, citing primary primacy of the practical. The OECD accounted for the rise of interdisciplinary education, or IE, to five factors. First, 
development of science, which led to the creation of a new field of knowledge and attempt to define element common to discipline. Second, student demand for knowledge that was applicable in reality. Third, problems of university operation or even administration. Fourth, vocational and professional training requirement by industry and job market. Fifth, the original social demand where certain needs and new subjects cannot be contained within a single disciplinary frame such as environmental research. These demands were felt in Korea and in Asia as well, and the young was among the first in the region to respond and develop IE and research program. While IE poses challenges for university because faculty and programs are configured along line of existing department, field, and discipline. Yonsei support this future direction and is promoting new paradigms in education, research, and campus infrastructure toward this end. At Yonsei, one of the ways in which we are promoting interdisciplinary education is through the liberal art, which by nature promote critical thinking and emphasize tools over content in the process of deep emphasizing majors of field or study. An article in the Journal of Higher Education noted that students at liberal art college are significantly more likely than those at other college to understand and sympathize with people from diverse backgrounds. According to Wabashio National Study of Liberal Art, there are seven outcomes of liberal art education. Integration of learning, inclination to inquire, to inquire and lifelong learning, effective reasoning and problem solving, moral character, intercultural effectiveness, leadership and well-being. Tying the search word liberal art on the internet, we can find this image. It shows many of keywords that are commonly related to liberal art. In Asia, however, the liberal art is a new and unfamiliar concept because universities in the region have a traditional, traditional emphasized early professionalization. Liberal art education is a fairly recent trend and Yonsei is pioneering this move for the first time in Korea, Yonsei, in, for the first time in Korea and also in Asia, Yonsei introduced a residential college system at the international campus in Songdong. Meanwhile, our flagship international undergrad program, Undergrad International College, stands as the benchmark for liberal arts education in Asia. Residential college system at Yonsei University is made possible because of our new campus in Incheon Airport, near Incheon Airport. Yonsei International Campus was an important project even before my term as president, and its significance does not lie merely in an expansion of our physical campus. The Incheon site is the testament to the past and the future and the land of miracle. The international campus is built on reclaimed land on the coast of Incheon, itself a miracle turning ocean into solid ground within only eight years. The campus serves at the vanguard of Yonsei globalization of digital, digital technology and will serve as a foundation of Yonsei's role as Asia's world university. At the same, same time, Incheon is the testament to our origin since it, it is the soil upon while our founding, our founder, Dr. Ondod, first set foot in Korea. Yonsei's new campus is located within the Incheon Economic Free Zone, a business district near Incheon Airport. This new land was named Songdo, which means island of pine trees, also dubbed by its developer 
as a city of the future, the government aimed to create sustainable green city that also demonstrated Korea's technological proneness. The reason is home to many multinational companies and international organizations. The Green Climate Fund, which opened in 2013, is expected to rival the World Bank in funding capacity in next decade. Numerous international organizations, including United Nations office, have their home bases in Songdong. Medical and biological research complexes in the area engage in cutting-edge R&D in conjunction with industry partners. The Songdo Global University Campus Complex, next door to Yonsei, was built to attract competitive foreign schools and world universities to Korea. Well, actually, we broke ground on our state-of-art Yonsei new campus in 2008 and opened educational programs there in the spring of 2011. The campus now boasts 23 buildings, including two dormitories, classrooms, and lab buildings, an expensive library, and several smaller buildings, including experimental greenhouse. We have plans to continue building R&D campuses, as well as a medical complex. The campus currently has residential capacity of a little over 5,000 students, and their teaching research capacity far beyond that. Our residential college was piloted at the new campus beginning in 2011 with around 400 students in residence. And as of this year, we have over 4,000 students there, including all Yonsei freshmen. Our residential college program has revolutionized Korean higher education since most Korean universities are commuter campuses. Within our arts program, students live and learn together to participate in a range of extracurricular activities that include community service as well as cultural, physical education programs to enhance their creative thinking, flexibility, adaptability, and problem-solving skills. Students share their thoughts on the problems of academics, the future, and society with residential master professors, residential assistant and fellow classmates within RC community. Through RC program, which applies to a creative community that combine living and learning, Yonsei has created the most advanced environment to force well-rounded leaders to serve the future of the society. In addition to the residential college program, Yonsei University launched Undoed International College as an elite liberal art college within Asia. UIC is a highly selective institution which combines intimate elite learning environment of an American style liberal art college with faculty and the resources of Korea's top private research university. And we have been very successful to recruit very highly uh, classed student. Uh, one of the example, our new admission student, about 25% of new students had already admission from Ivy League. UIC students choose from an extensive list of classes conducted entirely English and taught by a distinguished group of international and Korean scholars. With a student body drawn from around the world, UIC focuses on ensuring that these graded have the intellectual foundation to become, to become capable global leaders and responsible democratic citizens. UIC currently offers 16 majors ranging from humanity social science, art, IT, engineering, and science. 
ULC current rate around 1,500 students and expected to reach 2,000 students in a few years. In eight, <clears throat> among the students, around uh, 350 students are international students from uh, over 50 countries around the world. URC and ARS program are a capable of the ways in which we are utilizing our new campus located in Incheon as jumping off point to the becoming ASEAN's world university. Yonsei University stands at the cutting edge of research ventures as well. We are strengthening our research capacity by responding to the needs and potentials of various convergence research initiatives and activi actively engage in interdisciplinary research projects. In the process, we are supporting the development of future technology. Yonsei encourages research and development in advanced science and technology, the development of new medicines and new biomedical technology through the expansion of the engineering school and establishment of the School of Biomedical Science and technology. Development of new medical and biomedical technologies will improve the quality of life and the prosperity of future generations and will be essential in creating future values in Northeast Asia, the Asian continent, and across the globe. Our new campus at Incheon also houses the Yonsei Institute of Convergence Technology is affiliated undergrad program, School of Integrated Technology, established in 2011. The Institute of Convergence Technology focuses on four main areas of research, computation, communication, seamless transportation, smart living, and medical system. The next generation of experts in this field is fostered by School of Integrated Technology. Supported by the Korean government, industry partners, and Yonsei, this innovative undergrad program aims to train future leaders in smart technology, ICT, energy, and environment. In 2013, Yonsei established the ICON, Institute of Convergence Science, which consolidated 50 existing research centers on all four campuses and provided an incentive for formation of interdisciplinary research, terms drawing on faculty from diverse fields. ICON in promoting creative and innovative convergence research while encouraging sustainable development in each of the individual research centers contributed to President Park's vision for creative economy. ICONS will serve as a leader in global convergence science research. On the administration side also, we are actively promoting information and resource sharing among our various campuses, Shincheon, Wonju, Songdo, and Yonsei University Health System. To better facilitate the use of resources across campuses, we are strengthening network, communication, and planning among them in initiatives ranging from great information sharing to collective workshop. We hope 93% of employers say that a demonstrated capacity to think critically, communicate clearly, and solve complex problems is more important than a candidate under, undergrade major. More than 75% want higher education to place more emphasis on these skills, and 8% agree that regardless of their major, all college students should acquire broad knowledge in liberal art and sciences. Employers recognize the fact that a liberal art education better prepares students for real-world problems and jobs. 
This has been demonstrated to be true in the United States, and we are working on persuading Korean employers of the same. As the world continues to become more technologically advanced with new discovery made every day, knowledge is more accessible and ubiquitous than ever. In such an era, a simple sharing of knowledge is not enough, and we need to move to critical creating new knowledge. New forms of social media and internet platforms enable visual and interactive means of information sharing with information traveling fast and further. The thirst for new knowledge demands creative and innovative ways of thinking and is up to universities to provide an environment and resource to enable touchy thinking. Interdisciplinarity poses challenges for university because of department based on the nature of existing faculty and program. Faculty and sometimes students can be resistant to the programs that are unfamiliar or that change existing patterns of funding, research, or teaching. Yonsei is striving to break down these barriers and implement a true interdisciplinarity. Through the residential college programs and on the international college at our groundbreaking international campus, we have changed the vision of undergrad education in Korea through new research initiatives and sharing information technology among our four campuses. We seek to promote synergy in our multi-campus structure. Uh, next year, 2015, Yonsei will celebrate its 130th anniversary. We are upholding our motto Excellentia cum dignate, excellence with dignity, through excellence in research and education, while maintaining dignity throughout. In a world of materialism and capitalism, Yonsei will keep to purity of purpose, holding true to its history as well as its idea. Venues such as this conference allow me to share ideas about what Yonsei is doing and to gain new ideas about possible future initiatives. Thank you very much.